guys. Ryan here with Fox Guard Security again, here to talk to you today about how to actually enroll your 5816 Honeywell wireless contact into your Lynx security system. And to do this, we're actually going to go over into the shop on the uh, Lynx that we have already mounted up, and we're going to go through and show you how to program this so that it works properly with your security system. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is walk you through how to actually program one of these 5816 wireless contacts into your Lynx panel. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is use your installer code, which is different than your user code. And you're going to go to Tools. The default code is 4112. And then we're going to go to Program. Each one of these will be protecting a zone. So we're going to go to Zones. And then that's going to give us our list of all the zones that can be programmed into the system. Uh, if this is the first zone that you're programming, you're going to program it as Zone 2. If you have a hardwired zone that comes to this, that will be number 1. Otherwise, we're going to skip that. So for the sake of this... Uh, tutorial we're gonna start with zone 2 and then you're gonna click edit this will give us our different options for how this is going to be configured and assuming that the battery is already installed in this 5816 and you're ready to mount it on your door or window uh, there's a couple things that we need to keep in mind 99.9% um, .9 of the time any window is going to be considered a perimeter zone so if this was a window, we would select window for device, and then it will automatically select perimeter. That means that as soon as the window is opened, if the system is armed, it will cause an alarm. Now, certain doors uh, that you use this on are doors that you're going to use to enter and exit the house uh, on a normal routine basis leaving for the grocery store, coming home from school, those doors need to be carefully thought out and planned because they're going to be what's called a, let's get back here, entry exit zone right here. The entry exit zone is going to allow you a time delay which is programmed elsewhere in the programming and will not immediately cause an alarm if you or the kids come back into the house after it's armed. Very important. The next thing we need to do is decide what it's going to be called. To keep it simple for this, we're going to leave it as front door. If we wanted to change this to living room, we could hit clear. Laundry, library, start typing in the word living and it gives you some pre-determined uh, set word that it will speak. So you can leave it at living if you want. <clears throat> then we're going to determine loop number. This configuration here that you see where the magnet is close to the contact is going to be considered loop 2. Uh, for most of your installations, loop 2 is a great way to save time and uh, keep it easy to maintain. Certain doors and windows will require a more sophisticated install, which is a loop 1. Loop 1 includes hardwiring a contact to the terminals that are actually inside this. But for the sake of this, we're going to leave this as Loop 2. Right there. Serial number. Once you select the serial number screen, it will allow you two different things. We can either type this number in manually, that's right here, or we can open and close the contact by moving this magnet away from the marked side with these two little tabs simulating opening and closing the door. If it's already mounted on the door window you can open and close the door. If you're pre-programming it you can just move them uh, close and far away from each other like that. That's it. <clears throat> Hit save, back arrow, back arrow, always select yes for allow installer to re-enter programming. 
and now you should have a green light. <clears throat> you want to test your zone. You can open this and it will give you a visual confirmation that the zone is opened. If we go to settings and turn on the chime, hit save, it will also give us a visual and an audible once that zone is opened. And that's it. That's how you program a Honeywell 5816 wireless contact to your Lynx Touch. Stick around after this video and we have all of our programming guides for the Lynx Touch page by page at the end of this. That will assist you with the rest of your programming and we will have many more videos like this. Stick around. Thanks for joining us today. I hope that you learned something. Make sure and give this video a like. Follow us. We're going to have lots more like this. How to install, uh, select, and uh, design a security system for your house or small business right here on FoxGuard Security. Thank you.